graph the square root of x plus 2 minus 3 solution. So in this problem, we're going to start by looking at the square root of x. So this is the graph of y equals the square root of x. And what we're going to do is we're going to shift it. So it, just as a refresher, if you had the square root of x, say, plus 1, whenever you add the number to the x, it's backwards. So you think it's right, but no, no, it's left, so left 1. If it was the square root of x minus 1, you, you think it's left, but no, no, it's backwards, it's, it's right. So whenever you add and subtract from the x, it's the opposite way, kind of. So if you see a plus, then it's left. If you see a minus, then it's right. Now, whenever the number is outside of the square root, it's up if it's positive. And if it's negative, uh, then, then it would be down in this case. So in this particular problem, it appears that we're adding 2 to the x. So it'll be backwards, so left 2. And then we're subtracting um, 3 from the entire thing, so down, so down 3. So let's go ahead and do our graph. So we'll start by drawing the y-axis and the x-axis. So there's x and there is y. And so we're taking this green graph here and we're shifting it left 2, so 1, 2, and then down 3, 1, 2, 3. And that's going to be where our square root function starts. So now we just have to draw it. So we're going to cross the x and y axes. So we should find the x and y intercepts. So to find the, let's do the, um, let's go ahead and do the y-intercept first. So to find the y-intercept, you always plug in 0, always, for x. So f of 0 is equal to the square root of 0 plus 2 minus 3. So the square root of 2 is the square root of 2, so you get square root of 2 minus 3. So I'm going to use the calculator, so square root of 2 minus 3, negative 1.6, roughly, roughly negative 1.6. So that would be our y-intercept, so maybe it's like right here. That's our y-intercept, right, somewhere between negative 1 and negative 2. Not a very good picture, but that, that's okay. <laughs> and then x-intercepts. It's not drawn to scale. It could be, could be better. To find the x-intercepts, uh, you take the entire function and you set it equal to 0. So you take y and you set it equal to 0. So we have the square root of x plus 2 minus 3 equals 0. So now we'll add 3 to both sides. So plus 3 plus 3. So we have the square root of x plus 2 equals 3. Um, to free x from these square roots, we can square both sides. So that'll get rid of the square root. So you get x plus 2 equals, and then 3 squared is 9. And to finish, we just subtract 2. So we end up with x equals 7. So we're going to be all the way at 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Wow. Yeah, so that makes sense, though. The square root function grows very, very slowly. So now all we have to do is connect the dots and just carefully make a small, small, oh, so close, small inclination. Okay, that's not so bad. So there is our square root function. That's it. I hope this video uh, has helped someone.